Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome to Plague Inc. Evolved with me, Lathrix. As you can tell by the title, we're going to be playing the bioweapon on, on Mega Brutal as a walkthrough. And so, this is my thing. Um, I'll go through these very quickly just to explain what they do and why I've chosen them. Metabolic Jump is going to be chosen for the first gene purely because we need early game DNA but at the same time we do need some DNA as we go because one of the problems most people find with um, Bioweapon is a lack of um, a lack of DNA late game. So this is a very nice choice for a best of both worlds. If you really want to risk it and go for late game DNA, Cytochrome Surge is probably the better option. But for me personally, Metabolic Jump and the others really don't really don't really bear mentioning. Okay, mutation genes. Mutations are bad. As I found out recently, a lot of people now believe that increasing your mutation chance increases the rate of you becoming more lethal, which is a bad thing. So I'm going to actually be, be playing on Creationist today as a little test of this. I would normally go through Genetic Mimic as it's a very neutral one, and really none of these help too much because you don't really want to become too mu mutagenic with the bioweapon because of the risk of losing DNA to remove symptoms because you don't need symptoms it's simple as that because you will end up winning as 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 this strategy hopefully will do this walkthrough will do through the annihilation gene in the abilities so no symptoms simply abilities aquasite for obvious reasons Greenland is bad getting to Greenland quickly is good let's get on a boat extremophile give your plague a minor bonus in all environments Pretty self-explanatory. I am of the opinion this is the best gene because it gives you a bonus everywhere, not just one specific location. So you'll never be in a spot where you're going, oh god, I wish I had Hydrophile because now I'm stuck on insert wet country here. So this is a nice little bit jack of all trades. And finally, the important one, if you don't have this, you might have trouble doing my strategy on Ultra Brutal. However, it'll probably still work on Brutal because of the lack of genetic drift. Pathostasis, ability costs don't increase, but it is easier to cure, which is why normally I would run with Genetic Mimic to kind of counteract this, but yeah. And you'll see why that's brilliant as we go. So let's begin on Mega Brutal. Because it's a walkthrough, I'll be calling myself something simple. We are simply the end of time itself. Uh, either India or Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia I find particularly good. South Africa is actually pretty good in this one in all honesty, however... I still am of the belief that these two are the best because of the sheer landmass. So I'm going to be going with India because we can get water early on. Okay, hopefully we'll get two DNA. We do for once, which is a good start. Straight away, we'll be getting gene compression level one. That'll decrease our chance of being found a little bit nicely. Well, it'll, it'll decrease the chance of us mutating anything lethal. Although, we'll generally speaking, within the first few days, you do, you do become slightly lethal because you just seem to. Okay, now, either way, no matter what happens, we'll be saving up for water level 1, and then air level 1, water level 2, air level 2, drug resistance, frost, cold resistance. You get the general gist, the normal style of play. That is actually two levels of lethality, so that is a very unlucky start for us, sir and sirettes. We may actually have to spend on that a bit early. However, the good thing is, because we infected so few people, it isn't much of a concern yet. So we'll be going into water level 1 regardless, so we can start spreading through India a little bit faster. Next we'll be getting air, because then once we get into the hot, hotter countries and more arid countries, we can actually do something there. Water level 1 in an arid country isn't actually very effective at all. We are being very unlucky with, with our lethality, sir and sirettes, particularly so. That's probably the worst I've seen it. So, just so you know, bioweapon is sometimes very luck-based. If you get particularly unlucky, you can get boned very, very early on, which isn't particularly good, I must say. So let's just continue regardless. Uh, we'll pretend that isn't happening for now and simply get all the way to level 3 gene compression. That will definitely decrease the chance of this happening later on and will annoy me a lot less. Once again, they won't find us just yet because of the sheer level of uninfected there are compared with the infected, which is nice. Uh, carrying on nicely. Okay, get it cold. Okay, actually, no, we'll save it for drug level 1 first because it will actually help us in India. Drug level 1 helps us in every country slightly. Um, even though it doesn't affect poor countries particularly much, India is not actually a poor country, it's a mid-wealth country. It's not wealthy, it's not poor, it has no bonuses or negatives, so drugs do actually help more so than a country like 
Southeast Asia, East Africa, etc., etc. Okay, soon we will have to get the. Okay, let's do it now actually. We'll be getting deactivate modified genes level one to make us go back to minimum lethality, and you can actually go to zero, but it's not worth spending that extra to get that one little slither down. And also n nucleic acid neutralization. What this does, as it says, we set lethal potential. As you become more lethal as a bioweapon, you speed up how fast you will become lethal in the future. That resets it back to a level zero. Although it will speedily go back to where it was after a certain amount of time. So it's not a permanent solution, but it's certainly very nice early game. Okay, we get a lot of flies already. Um, drug level two would be a nice thing to save up for, but we are very soon going to be in Russia and such. So in all honesty, I'm going to go ahead and get cold level one. This way, we've got all the minimum resistances, but we do need cold level 2 quite badly eventually, because Iceland, Greenland, Canada, and Russia will simply not spread unless you have level 2, particularly in Mega Brutal. It just won't happen. It'll be like a, it'll be a stalemate, and as the amazing bioweapon, you really don't want to be just sitting there for a long time. You'll become too lethal, they'll find you, and they'll cure you very quickly. Mega Brutal, welcome to hell. Okay, we're, we've pretty much stabilised Ali Falta. We are killing people, but not at a stupidly fast rate. So it'll take some time for us to be found. And when we are, they won't put us at a particularly high priority of curing. The more um, lethal you are, obviously the faster they'll try and cure you. And that also works with lethality. The reason why I keep checking, if you haven't guessed it by now, is because I'm trying to monitor how fast I am becoming lethal. I really need that 3 DNA for drug resistance, and I'm kind of wishing I didn't get cold level 2 right now, I've got to say. So there's a little tip. If you think you're unlucky, get drugs. End killing you very fast. Yes, we know, because we can't get any drug resistance. Wait, New Guinea? New Guinea isn't rich, is it? No, so it's not killing faster. I love all of those, those pop-ups because they're always wrong. We now need 26 because we've infected a certain amount of people, so genetic drift is now in, in play and has increased all symptoms, abilities, and etc. by one. Not so much right now, but eventually it can go up to 10, so everything costing 10 more, as you might imagine, is a little bit of hell. Can someone please spread somewhere I haven't been to so I can get the drug? Okay, this is, this is particularly unlucky, sir and threats. Normally this wouldn't happen. Thank you. Drug resistance is now in play. USA, uh, UK and such have absolutely no hope right now. Uh, we have become a little bit more lethal. Because of the slow speed of us becoming lethal, I am actually going to go ahead and deactivate it again. We actually need to get all of these maxed out for the Annihilation Gene, which is in the middle. So, getting them isn't too bad, but getting them so early is a bit risky. But really, I want to be I want to take as long as possible before getting found. I'll be getting Water Level 2 next, because I really want to get into Finland, Sweden, Norway, and Iceland. Because all of those have a chance to send a ship to Greenland, but particularly Finland. Finland has the highest chance of them all. It'll cost us 17 DNA. It was 16, but again, genetic, genetic shift has begun to annoy us all. So, yeah, and as the infected increase, that will increase. Olympics, Lond uh, London Olympics mystery. It's kind of almost a tongue twister. But saying that, I do have a speech impediment, so I'm a little bit more at risk of getting that wrong than other people. Okay, I hope you're having a great day, Bye, sir and sirettes. Um... Let me know what you think about my walkthroughs. Are they helpful to you? Are they good in any way? I love to know, and particularly when when someone says you actually helped me f beat the game or I found it enjoyable, it really warms my little black and plagued heart. For I am the plague god Nurgle. Those who don't know who Nurgle is, YouTube it or Google it or psychically make a link with the world. Okay, we've just become a little bit more lethal again. I did notice the... Yep, we just got found. Wow, and by a little bit, I mean quite a lot. Wow, that was a very unlucky. We're going to reset as well. I was hoping to save the reset, but oh well. So we're not lethal at all right now, which means, although they're trying to cure us, it'll be a very, very minimal cure effort. Uh, Pakistan, Pakistan, Pakistan. There you are. They're spending very little money on us, let's say that. We do need to increase our infectivity, though, so... um. We really want to stay away from mut mutation causing genes because it is still up in the air. Pardon me. If they do actually increase mutation. So let's go with extreme bioaerosol. That will once again increase the chance of getting on boats. Which is very nice, particularly since the islands are... Ah, there we are. We are now in Greenland. The world is doomed. Okay, so we need to get nine... We need to save up 19 for this in the middle. So we can actually go ahead and get heat resistance level 1. 
because we'll still have enough DNA for the annihilation gene, and it'll help us take Africa. So I've just noticed Africa's being particularly slow today, which is very odd. Although Greenland will still probably take longer because Greenland is Greenland, and as we all know, if those who have been watching me for any given amount of time, Greenland is hell on Earth, and must die first. One day I'm going to start in Greenland on on, a, on a, maybe one, one of the cheat diseases just to have a bit of fun. We could get one of these, but I really don't want to. I like the fact we're not lethal because, as you can see, we're not exactly being cured right now at any real speed, which is nice. We might as well just continue as we are, happy as Larry, just slowly infecting everywhere. Everywhere's going down. We could, incre we could increase heat resistance, which would be okay, I suppose. Are we lethal all still? Nope, still nothing at all. And this is why this is lovely. Gene compression level 3. We do have a lot of DNA, however, so I'm thinking we may just go ahead and increase. Uh, let's go with insect level 1 and blood level 1. Blood purely because it doesn't increase our mutation rate, and so will keep us at low level. Insect because it's brilliant in Africa. Insomnia will be getting rid of instantly. Once again, the higher your severity, the faster they'll try and cure you and the more money they'll put towards it. Right now, we're pretty much there. We're, yep, we're nothing. We're not really doing anything. They know of our existence and we killed someone at some stage, and that's why they want to cure us. Although we did, we did ju 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 just get put on a sorry stammering. We did just get put on a on a watch list because they think we might mutate later on. Because welcome to Mega Brutal, home of hell. So they are, as you can see, speeding up their cure rate quite significant. Actually, I wasn't expecting it to be quite as much. We're just waiting on Turkey and Greenland, and once they're at about 80%, we can go ahead and get the annihilation gene. The reason why we have to wait till 80 is because you've never seen anything kill as fast as the annihilation gene. <laughs> Yeah, we're definitely going to win this soon, so it's... Also, you might think, ah, but Lathrix, our score will be crap. Look how high the cure rate's getting. We kill so fast, we'll get a lot of genetic reshuffles out of this. And I'm going to go ahead and get this in preparation. We need 19. So we've definitely got enough DNA, we've definitely got the world at our knees, and we're spanking them thoroughly. Did I really just say that? I think I really just said that out loud. Lathrix cannot differentiate between inner voice and outer voice. Come on, why are you tur turkey? Why? I've never had turkey being a problem before. What the hell, turkey? Come on, there we go. Good enough. Begin the annihilation. Thankfully, the annihilation, the, the annihilation gene also increases your your um, infectivity quite a lot. Lethality will increase over time very quickly because what it does is basically speeds up the process extremely of your normal lethal kind of mega brutal thing. Okay, there we go. We can get level 1 and level 2 will be come soon. Sadly, we was quite unlucky early on, which meant we had to spend on these rather than in infectivity, and that's why we've got so close to being cured. But as I said, look, straight down to 48%. We've completely won. I hope this was helpful to you, Sir and Threat. If it was, please leave me a comment, a like, and possibly even a subscription. It would help out the channel a lot. Um, leave me comments to what you want me to do next. I do read them, and I will be getting along to do most of them as time goes on. So yeah. What also what you could what you could have done if you was very conscious about the whole score thing, the stars is go into some symptoms later on after you start killing people to increase your complexity because that does um, genetic complexity does go towards your end score the higher the complexity the higher the score so there we are sir and so it's three stars normally I do it four but either way it just proves to you that this style of play does definitely work you can go with more aggressive plays but they they tend to be more risky and you won't win pretty much every time so far I haven't actually lost the game in Mega Brutal as the bioweapon. So that just kind of shows. And I have got five star ones and I, de I tend to get four stars. Play around with it yourself, have a go. I don't look at guides, there's a the thing. So this is just how I have found how to win myself. So I hope I've been helpful. Once again, a comment, a like, and a subscription would mean a lot to me. Thank you for watching Sir and Sirettes and goodbye. Have a good day and don't get ill by the bioweapon.